All right, we have a live edition of Skywatch 16 this week, and I think it's a pretty good one, and it revolves around our moon early Friday morning. So let's jump into it. We're talking about the full beaver moon. It's officially full a little bit before 4 o'clock on Friday. It's the time of year where beavers, just like you, are kind of shoring things up, keeping out the leaks before the ice sets in. It also is known as the frost moon. And this year, it's also going to be part of a t nearly total lunar eclipse. So what's a lunar eclipse? Quick reminder, so you've got the sun, the earth, us, will be in the way of the moon, which casts that shadow onto the moon, which gives it that reddish appearance, which is why a lunar eclipse is also known as a blood moon. Much of uh, the world will be able to see this one, including us up here in North America. That's what you can expect to see, that kind of reddish color. So how do you see it? Well, you're going to want to look to the west. Now, this is going to be an overnight, early morning kind of a deal. The maximum eclipse, when it's going to have that really total, near total reddish hue, that's going to be around 4 o'clock Friday morning. So get out there, look to the west early to be able to see this. Should be a spectacular sight. Just going to get up and do it early. And Scott and Lisa, for those who maybe don't want to wake up that early, there's another nearly total lunar eclipse in May of 2022. And that one will happen in the evening. A little bit easier for more folks to see. But for those of us who like to see this kind of stuff at night, Friday morning is the time to see it.